In today's video, we will look at some of the updates in Shortcut. There's some changes since uh, Shortcut version 18.01 and version 18.03. Alright, we are in March 2018 now. So let's uh, head on over to the screen and see what's new. Alright, so let's go ahead and open up a video file here. Alright, so I have a video here and it's actually a video of my training on Audacity. So let me just play this uh, video for you. Alright, you hear me explaining something in Audacity. Uh, and you may need to turn up your volume. Alright, so what's new in Shortcut uh, version 18.01 is if you go to your meters here or properties, you can see uh, audio spectrum meter. Okay, let me, uh, I'm going to turn down the volume here. Uh, so that you can hear me speaking, All right? So this is the volume that is during playback. It doesn't affect the recording because it is actually not that loud. So over okay. this section here, you will hear, uh, okay? So you see the audio spectrum and the audio spectrum actually gives you uh, indication of how loud certain parts is, right? For example, this is at uh, 160 hertz and this is higher frequency, 5 hertz. Especially it's useful for your speech. Okay, I know that uh, my voice tends to be on reading in one of my earlier recordings. The lower side. So with the audio spectrum, you can actually uh, see how loud your recording is. Maybe you want to normalize it for higher up. Okay, so this is actually what is new in uh, Shortcut version 18.01. Okay, now if uh, another new thing is actually a new filter. Um, let me get rid of this video here. Let me use another field uh, video. I'm going to use this. Okay, so let me just add this. This new filter is actually a video filter and you can go to your video and it is called a sketch filter. Okay, where it turns your video into something like a sketch. Okay, so now it looks like a sketch. You can change the contrast, increase it or decrease it. Okay. You can decide how much color you want, lower amount. You can also have the line height. Okay. So as you increase it, it becomes more, uh, looks more like what the original video is. You see them in, uh, okay, as well as the line width. So if I to turn off this video, this the original. One other new thing that you may want to take note of is in the uh, color grading. Okay, in the color grading filter. Okay, the new thing is here, right? In the past, there's, there isn't these uh, percentages that shows uh, the percentage of your color in your color grading. So with these things, it will actually help you to uh, adjust your color more accurately. For example, let's say I want this scene to be, say, let me just see, right? Let's, uh, let's turn this scene into, say, a colder scene, means more bluish. Okay, let's move this here. More bluish. Okay, look cold. Just the uh, lighting a bit. Okay, so you can see uh, in terms of uh, blue, the percentage is blue is here. If I want to have more blue, I can just raise this. You can raise this as well. I'm going to raise some of this as well. Oops, that's a bit too much. So you have a more a direct control for your color grading. So these are the three changes in a shortcut and this is valid as of version 18.03. So uh, I hope that this uh, video has helped you. If you enjoy this video, click on the subscribe button, hit on the bell button as well. And remember to leave a comment. This is James. Until the next time, do something small today to build a better business. Bye-bye.